tutorial we will see how our SHRPD which we have created in previous sessions how it looks in OBIE so just uh, just to have a review uh, the sales analytics is a subject area and these two are the tables that are present so open your OBIE enter the username and password click on sign in Uh, now go to new and click on the analysis here you can see select subject area option wherein uh, sales analytics is present so which is same as the name in the presentation subject area uh, I'll click on sales analytics you can see two tables you can see two tables present here expand that to see all the columns that are present and similarly for fact now you can create a simple uh, analysis uh, by using these two tables uh, let's say I want to display the product name and the quantity associated and the sales associated for that product so I just double clicked on that uh, to to fetch these columns in the analysis just click on results tab to see how the results look will look like It will take a minute uh, as my system is little slow. Now you can see all the product names along with the quantity and sales amount. For example, uh, if I want my quantity and sales amount for each category then I will go to criteria I will remove product I will put category I will just drag and drop before this facts and click on the results tab see now your product category oh it's my bad So your product category and quantity and sales amount. Here if you see one, one small change is uh, your quantity and sales amount column. So when I pull uh, product category, you are able to uh, we are able to see all the product categories that are present in the product category column. But when it comes to quantity, since quantity is a matrix, we are adding all the values which are present under the product category as electronics in this field so that is nothing but the aggregation uh, option which we have set in the BMM layer so here you can see the aggregation rule which we have given here let's say if you want to uh, instead of adding up all the quantities let's say if you have a uh, unit price where you need to see an average cost per uh, each product then we will go for uh, average aggregation rule on top of the fact measure then you will you will get to see the average of the cost uh, in the fact column if you set average as uh, your matrix aggregation rule I hope you understood the how uh, fact measures aggregation will work uh, in the from the front end and how you how you see subject areas tables and underlying columns so that's it